What is your favorite memory that you remember of Anna? Do we all approve each other's significant others? How did Anna's custody plans for Caitlin surprise you? How is Draylen going to court affecting the both? Do you believe we have been able to rekindle after our financial disagreement, and do you regret how you handled it? Hey, y'all, it's your girl, Mama June, and I'm here with my daughters. And we're going to play a game, Mother's, Mother's Daughters, Daughters Uncensored. We had to face the hardest moment of our lives. Mama, how would you describe this season of Mama Jean Family Crisis? Oh, this. An emotional fing roller. I didn't yes. say pop. I language. said mama. I know, but I'm but just saying, like, there is no is. other way to explain it this is, season. It is. At all. I will tell you the back six episodes. We're going to have to relive that. And I still live in the home that Anna passed away in. And it's like a, I live in a constant, everyday nightmare. And now going back and having to rewatch it till Anna's funeral and sharing it with the world, that's what Anna wanted. And we shared that with the world. But it's also going to be hard to rewatch it. So um, it's, I need, you're gonna need your Kleenexes. You're gonna need your Kleenexes, definitely. How important was it to come together for Anna and support her through this time? I feel like Anna would have done the same. Anna, I, that was it. Like, I really think that yes. she would have done the same for us too, but like, right. In that time, Anna truly didn't have anybody but us. And Eldridge, right. like, that was it, you know? So and no, the and that, people that did right. straggle along uh, yeah. throughout the she process, didn't, she didn't give a she crap didn't about. really care about. She wanted her mm -hmm. family there. She wanted her kids there. She wanted to go on one big right. last family trip, and we did make that happen. Anna did move closer to us so we could all be together. And that was Anna's biggest thing when she found out she had stage four cancer is I want to have the family around. She did, she wanted her children there and us around, but anybody else, she could care less. Nobody even knew how bad Anna was until like the day before she passed away, beside us. I need to go get custody of Caitlin because Anna did not sign the paperwork. Mama, how did Anna's custody plans for Caitlin surprise you? I knew the day that she found out stage four cancer, she, without a shadow of a doubt, I sit there, I said, she told me that she wanted to be cremated. She told me that, hey, we was like, where would Caitlin go? Because we knew where Kylie was going to go. And she was like, with you. But then as she got it done, she wanted me and Eldridge on the paperwork. Um, and unfortunately, she didn't sign that paperwork before she passed away. So now I have immediate custody. But Eldridge is still very much involved in Caitlin's life. Yes. And Kylie's. What is your favorite memory that you remember of Anna? I think my favorite memory of Anna would probably have to be... Oh, I already got it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, so in funny. our last days of filming, I don't know that they put this in there, but on our last days of filming, Anna was just like kind of like in her moo and stuff. And she was just like kind of like also at like the funny times of herself. And she was like telling our camera guys, she was like crotch shot. <laughs> yeah. And it was just funny. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. My funniest memory of Anna is she used to have this old broke down car. Oh and, my god! <laughs> oh my and every time she would turn the wheel to the car, it, it, it would hog the horn. It would hog the horn. Remember when she put it in reverse that day at my house? Oh my god, she made a movie. It was so hilarious. <laughs> it was like one of those buggies at Walmart. You know? Oh my god, it was so hilarious. <laughs> Best memory ever of Anna. Uh, what was yours, Mama? Um, my fondest memory has to be the three and a half weeks that she was at my house that she loved to watch cooking shows. Whether I was there with Justin or Jessica was there watching her, we watched cooking shows all the time. What about you, Jesse? We were watching the Florida Georgia game, the Georgia Alabama game. Yep. Oh, yeah. And Anna looked at Elder, she said, Nobody wants to know the freaking score right now, Elder. <laughs> Quit looking. <laughs> <laughs> How do you each try to keep Anna with you and honor her every day? I keep um. Anna with me every day is because I don't have my purse on me right now, but a fan actually sent us a little oh, metal yeah. card. Yeah, I do too. And there are pictures of Anna, and I think it, it says, says like, the best sister in the world. You were my sister, something, something about a sister. Yeah. And that's how I feel like I keep her on me because I'm too scared to bring around her ashes. I'm scared I'm going to lose them. <laughs> yeah. I'm scared I'm going to um, lose them. Actually, Anna is with us today right here. Um, and like I said, I always like carry her around. Um, and you know, we always keep that memory alive. I have to say we talk about, for me, I talk about Anna all the time. I mean, I keep, I keep her hanging up in, like her ashes hanging up in my car. And then I got the tattoo obviously to keep a reminder. And the main reminder we all have is look at Caitlin. Caitlin is with us every day. Reminder. Reminder. Yes, <laughs> we were in Times Square yesterday and we all looked and been like, damn, that's Anna. 
Yeah, it literally looks like She's exactly got like her. the attitude right now, the face. <laughs> she's so in a face. She looks so like Anna face. when she does her glasses. Like she'll be looking for sure. <laughs> and then like the jokes she makes, I'm like, you got that from your she mama. She got dry. Yep. Anna had dry humor. <laughs> you yeah. got that from your mama. I do understand that it's her money, but I don't give a She pissed me off. We are mad as hell that mama refused to pay the money back she stole. Mama, do you believe we have been able to rekindle after our financial disagreement, and do you regret how you handled it? Um, do I regret how I handled it? Yeah, because I was pissed off in the moment. I am not gonna lie. We did, I mean, you'll see that this season, like sitting down and actually having a conversation with just me and Alana, because I think that when I have conversations individually with the girls, that is better instead of having it to a group because then I feel like they're able to have their own thoughts and then they're able, we're able to like figure out what's going on, if that makes sense. Alana, how have I been a support to you navigating the rocky times that you had with Mama? Um, I feel like you've been a support because you're always like, it's okay, Alana, like, you're going to figure it out. And you've always just been like, well, you know what? Her, Lana. <laughs> it's something like that, but then they're back to the, you know what, her, and then we're out to dinner later on. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how it is. I, you have been a big support, you know, like you always make sure that like you correct me if I'm like saying the wrong things to mama. You're like, no, mama, this is what it was. Mm -hmm. And then like you always like but call Alana mama out on her bullshit. Like you, you try to tell Alana she's going too far sometimes, but then Alana be like, no, pumpkin, no pumpkin, you're going, you're too, going far. too far. So, I mean, where's the call again? It's in, um, Denver, Colorado. Wow. So, Alana, how are you liking college, and how different is it living in Colorado instead of Georgia? I don't think it's much different, other than, like, the snow, and, like, obviously people can't drive. Like, trying to, you know, figure out a new but pattern. Yeah, yeah, but, like, the snow. like, it's the time. I feel like when me the moving, time it the time doesn't get me, It doesn't bother though. you. Like, like, no. It's only two hours, though. Like, it really doesn't get to me, and, like, really, I don't know, I... I feel like we adjusted very fastly. I don't know if it was because like we wanted, it was something that we really wanted to do or what, but I've been adjusting pretty well. College is pretty good. I'm in my second year now, so. Punkin, how does it feel to see Alana in college and how are you showing your support for her on this journey? I feel like seeing Alana in college is like kind of crazy. It's like that for me was like knowing like Lana's all grown up now. Like she doesn't really need me anymore. But um, she'll always need me because she still calls me for stuff. Uh, but I don't know. I was I mean, literally filling out my fast form the other day. I'm like, pumpkin, pumpkin, what, what, what do I do? I'm very supportive <laughs> in a sense of like, I always make sure that she has her work turned in or that she's caught up or that she's not trying to procrastinate herself or, you know, like if I know she has a busy week, I'm like, okay, well, like, what do you have to do this week? Or what did you make on your test? So it's just really like, Making sure that she has what she needs and like also the support system of like, okay, you're in college now, but, and like, I wanna be supportive of you. It's gotta be a teamwork, not just June's way or the highway. Mama and Justin's marriage is on rough waters. How would you describe your marriage with Justin? We've been together three years, married for two and a half. And I'll be honest, like we've been through some real rough times, but we've also been through some good times. And I think that, like what we've been through makes me, even though he doesn't think that sometimes, that I do appreciate it and it makes me fall in love with him even more because trust me, any man that's been through this family and dealing with the, he stepped up so much with like Anna and took care of Anna. And like all now he stepped up and helping like with Caitlin, like it's stuff that he doesn't have to do as a person, but he chooses to. And that's what I love most about him and appreciate most about him. All right, so they actually did take a warrant out for you, not just a ticket, for felony fleeing and looting. Alana, how are things going between you and your boyfriend? How is Draylen going to court affecting the both of you? Um, me and Draylen are doing good. Um, it really, the court thing hasn't affected us. There's a lot on the internet about what happened that's not true, and I know the truth and I know what happened, so I think, I think we're fine, you know, like, can't I let just, the world. Yeah, and I it's also like it was. It's also it like, happened. It's a mistake. That like, too, and it's also like Draylen. It's not like Draylen did this before we got together. This like happened while me and Draylen's been together. We've been together for a while. Like I'm not just gonna be like, okay, you did this one thing. I'm done with you. Like, like right. You, you have to work through like, it. You, yeah, you don't do I that. I mean, people mess up. You learn from your mistakes, and I do truly believe that Draylen has learned. Jessica, you are navigating the idea of starting a family with your girlfriend Cheyenne. Any update on that? don't really have an update it's still a work in progress like that stuff is expensive <laughs> so you have to find like different outlets 
Definitely. Because for sure, for one person, it's it's like crazy. Why is it so expensive for us? Do we all approve each other's significant others? I think so. I would I say, so. yeah. I don't like Draylon. I'm kidding. I love Draylon. I wasn't. They're gonna, they're gonna well, cut well, that. They're gonna cut honest, that. In. I wasn't fond of Shasha at far. No, we she was not. But Shasha has come around, and I bet she, she has. Around. For She's sure. And I was so iffy about this. Justin too. I mean, I feel like y'all were iffy about Josh in the beginning, especially Mama. Very. Uh, you're iffy about but everybody. we all come around to yeah. each other. Yeah. Yeah. Together. It just takes time. Who is the peacemaker in the family? And who is the most dramatic in the family? Most dramatic is definitely you. Yeah. And who's the peacemaker? I'm always the peacemaker. Yeah. I feel like yeah, I'm always. Well, like you, guys, you think so? Gotta, you guys, I so. You think we so? Gotta come together, I feel like, you guys. We gotta like, come, come together. Y'all come on. Like, okay, we don't mind. care that we're all fighting. We gotta come together. <laughs> yes, Justin. Hold on, I will I'll say something about that. that. Justin tells Justin's Smith. Justin's the peacemaker. Yeah. He says, y'all are so crazy. Y'all can argue and fight and fuss, and two hours later, y'all are going out to dinner at each other's house talking like nothing ever happened. I know, I know Justin probably thinks that's insane. <laughs> that's Justin's insane. like, I've never seen a s like this in my life. <laughs> he says that all the time. He's like, I've never seen it. Y'all will argue, and then an hour or even And I mean, two it's hours not later. like we have little arguments yeah. in either, though. You know what I mean? It's not ever it's a little like disagreement. Out, ball out. It's like, F really? you, I'm done here. Like, don't you call me. Don't call me. Don't come to my house no more. Two hours later. And two hours later, and two hours later hey, what? do you want to come eat or what? <laughs> like, Justin thinks it's so weird, though, but it is what it is. How did we each get our nicknames? So, mine is like a childhood nickname. Yep. I just don't feel like anybody. I was just telling the makeup artists this morning. I was like, nobody ever calls me by my government name. I'm like, when they do, I'm like, <laughs> who? Who are you talking to? <laughs> Um, I got Honey Boo Boo because I was sitting in an interview one day and I literally ran them off the top of my head was just like, a dollar in me holla, Honey Boo Boo child. And it has stuck since then. Girl, yep. I feel like people are going to forever call you Honey Boo Boo. Yes. And You'll then, forever be Honey Boo Boo. <laughs> my, my mama June is my real name June and this was mama because oh, I'm the mama Oh no, the girl. That's June Bug. Okay. It's really June Bug. It's really June Bug. But y'all know oh. her as Mama June. Well, mine's kind of like escalated because now everybody used to say Chubbs. It's not yeah. Jesse. It. It's just Everybody, Jessie. even like we meet people out in public, like, oh, that's Jesse. It's yeah, not Jesse. Jesse. I, I will say Jesse was not fond, fond of, of Jesse. Anything. Of Jesse. When she was <laughs> little. When she was little. So I kind of just kind of She's still not like fond it. of it, but like we all call her now. So yeah. Yeah. Cheyenne even that. calls me Jesse. Who gets the most fan interaction? when walking down the street. Down the street. Definitely the Alana. Alana definitely gets, I feel like, the most attention. Yeah. That, but I also feel like It's Josh, Mama's loud voice that gets her. Yes. Mama or Josh, I mean, not Mama, Alana or Josh. Josh has been Josh. very, very yes. popular Josh recently. Just yeah, like we go to been... Disney and like, everybody's Josh. stopping us, all everybody's the Disney dads. The like, they're yeah. like, Josh, man, I've got to have a picture. Yes. So it's I funny. definitely do like feel like. when we go out, I've not, lately it's not been me. Yeah, it's been Shane. It's been No, it's been Shane. Then mine's been Drake. Yeah. They're like, they're like, I see him first, and yeah. then I see you, and yeah. I know and it's I, him. Yeah, yeah they're like, and I, I seen Josh, and I knew. What celebrity would play you in a movie or another show? Oh my gosh, I, I would love if Rebel Wilson could do it. I, I just think she's funny. I want Adam Sandler to play me. Oh, oh my god. Oh my <laughs> god. Wait is, wait, is Shirley Temple still alive? Shirley no. Temple? No. Shirley no. Temple. If she was still alive, I would want her to play me. Oh my god, you know who I'd want? Dolly Parton. Oh wow. So I would have to say personally, nobody could be the authentic me but me. So I don't think. Uh, oh, like, bro, hey. why would you say that? Because, Cut. honestly, do I get another answer? <laughs> Limited edition. <laughs>